Hello, we are now going to see how to blow a shank, blow or play the shank or the uh, the conch shell we say. So it is uh, considered very divine, the sound of conch shell is considered very divine um, across the world and uh, we are now going to, I have just uh, want to show you just uh, three steps how to blow or play a conch shell or the shank. Right. The first step is to the mind, uh, you have to learn in the mind, okay. So this shank, this is the shank I have here in front of me, this is the one, I think it has a, a hole here, so, so this is where you have to blow. So the first step is, the first lesson is for the mind that um, the shank is more like an amplifier, not really an amplifier, but it amplifies the sound. Uh, not everything that I tell or vocally speak, but it has a built-in sound. In order to bring that sound outside, you have to input a sound. So where do you input the sound? Then you have to input this sound. So once you input the sound here, it uh, amplifies it but not just amplifies it, it has its own rhythm and it has its own uh, um, sound inside that will bring out. So literally you are just uh, putting a trigger by introducing or inputting a small sound inside this, this hole and it uh, brings out the uh, real uh, sound of the shunk inside it. So what you need to do is you don't need to input uh, as much as air or you need to you don't need to blow air. This is a common mistake everybody does. You need to keep in mind that you have to just input a sound, not the air. Don't try to blow air much. People try to uh, you know they try to uh, do a lot of uh, blow air into that, but that will not work. So the first lesson for you to keep in mind is that you need to produce a sound inside this small hole which the shunk will take it out and bring out the sound inside the shell has okay so this is your first lesson and second lesson is to um, try to produce the sound using the uh, shunk and the third lesson is how to um, prolong it at time i think you have to how to control your breath and how to uh, uh, play it for a longer time like uh, 40 seconds one more than a minute or something like that right so the first lesson is over the second lesson we are now going to see how to produce the sound so like I said we have to input the sound into the hole so how do we create the sound so we have to use our upper lip and lower lip and put them together and uh, try to vibrate it thereby you will create a sound uh, just uh, observe me. So this is the sound you have to input through the hole, right? So you can try it. Let me try it. See. I think when you are uh, practicing for the first time, you may not. Uh, at the first instance itself, you won't get the rhythm out of uh, this, the whole sound out of the shell. But you will learn over a period of time how how to get to the tune to that frequency. So, so what you need to do is, um, when you try first time when you try to vibrate your, your produce your sound and put it in, and if the cons is not catching your sound and providing the output that you want. You need to little bit variation, try your variation, little bit variate and try, keep, keep, uh, don't take off your, take off the mouth from the sh shell, but uh, keep a variation and try. At any of the variation, you, it can pick up your sound and you know, it, it can blow in a full uh, volume, right? So try to, so that is the frequency or that is the uh, thing, that is the line of uh, sound from you, you have to capture that and then uh, provide it steadily, okay. So the second uh, lesson is understanding and uh, trying a variation of the sound, making a different uh, variation of sound in the hole and see at what instance or what place 
the shank captures your sound correctly and amplifies it or it uh, gets the sound real shank sound out of it okay you can try like that right so so first time when you try when you try like this it will you will uh, always but uh, look at here i am trying to i will lock into the place where the uh, it gets a steady output uh, comes out from the shell so you have to maintain the you have to understand find uh, identify the place where you are producing a steady where it produces the outputs a steady sound and the lock into it so you have to lock to that uh, place and uh, make it steady so thereby you can produce a very steady output from the conch so observe me one more time right so this is your second end of uh, lesson 2 so you have to find a way how to lock uh, try variations of producing the sound so don't try to uh, again remember the first lesson don't try to um, blow much of the air it is useless you need the you need a little bit of air the air is you need air as much as minimal as possible to produce the sound the sound the sound is the key here so if you can um, blow or produce the sound and try variations at one place it will get locked and it can produce a very steady sound and I, i think you have to practice this once you try variations and are able to produce a steady sound i think that is the end of lesson 2 and practice so now the lesson 3 getting into the lesson 3 now you know how to produce a sound but uh, you need to know how to produce a steady long sound that's very simple so you, you need to control your breath so so what you need to do is you have to inhale as much as possible put a full uh, full a uh, full breath of uh, air into the into your lungs fill fill your lungs with the complete air and then i think it it comes over a practice and then what you need to do is the uh, slowly produce the sound and make the sound of the output of the shank steadily and blow the sound as uh, slow and steady as possible and utilize your air to produce that sound you you, you can observe the capacity of the air in your lungs and you know you in your body i think it is slowly going down and i think you can continuously produce a steady sound until you and uh, you, you can feel that the air in your capacity is going to end so at that time you can make a, a full blow at the end just observe me what how i am doing it finally when you feel that you are going to uh, get empty of the lungs or uh, the, your your power or the the air power is going to empty then you can full uh, you know put full put a full strength on that and then uh, blow out the whole air out of the shank so that it will produce a, um, a sound like uh, you know uh, like a, uh, how do i say i can re represent it graphically but i don't know how to tell that um like that you know finishing right that it will provide that finishing touch so i i think this you have to practice so if you practice few times how to steadily um, uh, generate this sound out of the shank um, over a period few times if you try some people will capture it very uh, quickly and some people it takes some time i think the only one common mistake people uh, do is that again i'm telling for the third time uh, people try to blow as much as air possible that is not going to work for sure so you need to keep mind uh, in mind the lesson one you have to produce the sound not the um, air not to try to blow air so produce the sound by vibrating your upper lip and lower lip like that and then put it inside and try to create variations and then once you get locked into the once you know at, on, under what circumstances the shank produces the 
um, sound that you need, the shunk capacity, then lock on to that, keep it steady, keep your input steady so that the output also will be steady. And then the third lesson, you can try to control your breath, take a full breath, slowly expense it as slow as possible so that you produce the sound very steadily and for a longer time. You can practice it. Initially, you can make it for 20 seconds, then 30 seconds, 40 seconds and a minute or something like that. I think that's all about it. So uh, good luck for you. I think I believe uh, you can uh, try this out yourself. And if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to uh, reach me out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, good luck. Thank you.